Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Bubble Tea's Gaming. Today's episode, I buy Julian so that you don't have to. You can buy him at Waken at level 4, but uh, I'm not putting a gun to your head. Yeah, if you like what you see, click the hit button, purchase that shit, and let's keep the footage rolling. So, uh, Julian is the new commander that is awoken. Uh, let's see. At, uh, okay, I got a bit trigger happy. It was really expensive. If you guys really want to know how much I spent awakening this guy, you can drop me a PM on Discord. But I'm not going to say it out here. Because I say the number, I feel ashamed of myself. Ashamed. Like, walk through Cersei naked, pubic hair, all arousing, a shame. Okay, so let's see what he gives at level 4. So, level 4, his uh, passive, commander passive ability, deal 60%. Friendship increased by 1, this is really important, I'll flash it by later. And uh, 1.6, and he gets Widow's Lover, which is a bit undefined. And people think it's just uh, hitting 12% total attack. But I spoke to the dev, he said it's not really, it's uh, a bit more broken than that. And it does not affect spears only. So, at level 4 awakening or level 3, if you buy him and you awaken to level 3, you get 48 warrior, uh, calf and spear. So in essence, uh, if you don't have bows in your castle or your rally, you're getting 48% uh, total attack. And if you're awakening him, you get... 26, 26, 28. So all together, you get about, let's see, uh, 48 plus 26, uh, 54, 74, 74, and 76. So uh, you're essentially, if you have whom waken at uh, level 3 and you max out the books of the tier 4 books, you get him, uh, you get essentially 75% total attack. Assuming no bows in your rally. I know Daima from K131 is already very upset that this doesn't affect bows. So at level 80, uh, as you see, I haven't uh, even completed him yet. His uh, rating, his attack goes to 8820. Relative is a lot stronger. That most his health is lower, defense is lower, and rating is lower. So let's test this for a dry run. So uh, I just did a uh, rally without spears and with Julian as my lord. Let's see whether he does actually proc. Yep. Let's see. Shadow Moon. Uh, okay, so looking at this, you must at least have some spear in your rally for Julian's ability to proc. Throughout. So, if you are putting him as your lord or in your formation, uh, please have some spears. So, another example of this would be I just did one with a uh, spear rally. And if you look, you can see that uh, Julian actually uses his awakening and uh, it increased by 2%. So, essentially, you're getting 12% uh, total attack. As you go through, so like, if you're looking at Julian, like 74, you're basically getting minus the time discount where it takes to build up, you're getting about 80% total uh, attack. 80% total attack, and so Julian is at level 4 awakening, is basically a stat stick. So he's just a commander that is useful with every formation, you just chuck it in, and bam, you get 80% total attack. So let me uh, stress how bad is, uh, how good is level 80% total attack. It's like having two level 60 lord and more in your dungeon. So if you every time scream for a level 60 lord, Julian definitely needs to be in your formation. So people might be asking, is it worth it to rush for Julian level 4? I'm gonna say no, but you should definitely rush him to level 3 and complete all the books to get 75% total attack. So. Let me see how long. Okay, four minutes. Good, good. So let's do the training ground. Uh oh my god! I just did two today. Win yourself a gun, a simple life, steady as she goes. Oh, uh, four hundred diamonds! Oh my god, Daima. Okay, no quick challenge. Let's see how Julian tests up. Uh, Julian's level four. Dion Spear, Madrid Tyrell. Hmm, do I really want to put Madrid Tyrell here? 
I'll put him here. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's let's match formation though. I don't feel like play, playing this today. So let's see if I match formation to compare the effectiveness of Julian. Dude, I'm usually not a big training ground guy. I'm not really sure why people do it. Let's see. Wait, wait. So Dion's in front. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, I have no idea why didn't that work. Uh, mysteries of the training ground. Dude, that really bothered me why I didn't win though. Mine is level 75. Like, come on, it should be able to win. Uh, uh, iffy investment. Okay, so as you can see, Julian at uh, level 80 is not the game breaker in training ground as I thought it was. Uh, at my level, I don't really bother about the training ground. I just blitz through it every day. Okay, so Julian... As you can see, uh, if you please, if you use him in your formation, at least have some spears or else you would not get his passive ability. So his passive ability, I'm not too sure. I'm going to run a few testers, but I'm sure it procs every time a spear attack. It's really weird. Like, I don't know how it is. I just got Julian because I really wanted the extra stat sticks. His passive to me is a bit lackluster, but definitely at level 3, he's broken. Man. He's like 75% total attack. So, professional opinion, I might get shit on for this. Just get Julian to level 3, man. And just max him out. Don't spend the 320 to get, unlock his passive. But if you're a max max account, you must have it. I didn't know why I wanted to unlock him. I got so much hype for him, man. Uh, it's probably one of my biggest regret today. And I spent a shitload of money, man. <laughs> uh, it's what it is, man. So... So like, the only reason why I got Julian to level 4, because I have a bit OCD, I don't like on my wall uh, formation to, my formation, I'll show you my formation, to have any like, uh, 3 level 3, I, when I look at it, I like acceptable is 1, level 2 is too much though. So is Julian worth unlocking to level 4? No, is Julian worth unlocking to level 3? You bet your ass he is man, Julian is like bait man. Training ground is uh, probably because it's me, I'm too lazy to actually test run it. But if it's a 67, 80%, I'm sure he does well. Then for Rebel Leaders, I just tested a few damage. Oh my god, he hits like a truck. So with Julian at level 4, he becomes my default lord. I'm actually quite... Uh, maybe I have not tested the, the, the level 4, but it was quite underwhelming though. So like... If you're listening to me, just get Julian to level 3 and max, him, and max the books out to get the maximum stat benefit. The level 4 passive, probably a bit overkill on my side that I max him on the first day. So expensive though. Overall, Julian is definitely a good commander to uh, awaken to level 3, but level 4 is a bit uh, iffy. Uh, if, I, if anything changes, maybe I need to have stronger opponents for it to test. Do let me know, but I'm pretty sure after look, doing some rallies on rebel camp you at least need to have some spear in the rally for julian uh ability to proc i do believe it's worded wrongly and the vip guy uh told me that he's not underwhelming he's actually very strong but his definition of strong and my definition of strong are really worlds apart so if you're watching this video uh just get tldr just get julian to level three awakening he's really good and don't follow the mistake I did. I'm I I took the blood so that you don't have to. <laughs> okay, uh, is there anything else that I miss about Julian Awakening? Okay, no TLDR, you heard my conclusion. I don't want to repeat myself, which I repeated at least three times already. So the next lesson, the next uh, video will be about batch preset and what you should have in all. If you look at mine now, don't follow mine. I'm playing three formation. If you're playing one or two formation, it's a bit different. But I'll explain the concept and how you should optimize this setting in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my video. And uh, level 4 Julian was a big blow to me. Because like, I haven't seen him adding like... Mo like even with this rally though. Let me see. Ay, ay, ay. Which I did. And I had 1 million spears. It only prop twice though. Even my Annie and Gorel was putting in more work than this jackass. Uh, let me see. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, is it this one? 
Yep, this one is not my bad. If you look at the my awakening, it only says Julian activates twice. Increase damage for two seconds. Two seconds in a 19 second battle. So I am not sure how it works out and why they are able to put like cap at 12. But uh, to me, don't follow my mistake. Level 3 is good enough. Though if you have money, max it out. If you are max account looking to fight the Great Wheel Wars, max it out. And in the tavern, if you awaken him to level 2, you get... Oh my god. Okay, so guys, I had zero this uh, morning. I just bought the stuff from the wheel and I have so much stuff. So you can deduce how much I spent rolling. <laughs> Combat is 5, Command is 4, and Finance is 4. It's a pretty good decent tavern if awakening. So I hope you guys learned from my lesson and just awaken to Julian level 3. Level 4, 320 epic tokens is a bit too much for something that uh, I haven't seen any results yet. So, uh, Julian is a uh, stat stick and keep in mind for my next lesson which is batch preset. Take care, thank you very much, thanks for watching. Oh my god, this is the first video I haven't used Notepad 2020. Or oh, 2021, shit. Oh, have a good weekend, happy good Friday.